Tema is a brand new design fair housed in a historic Parisian townhouse. They call them here Hotel Particulier, though they have nothing to do with hotels. The show is small, about 10 11 galleries on two floors, featuring mainly up and coming artists and designers. You can walk the show in less than an hour. The staircase here is steep and narrow. According to the founder of Tema, Michelle Hadida, what distinguishes the fair is its commitment to the sustainability and inclusivity. If you have time, it's worth checking it out, especially that it's right next door to Design Miami Paris site. It's just a two minute walk from the Tema to Design Miami site and it suddenly started to rain. It's a bit of a shame because the venue is very special and was really looking forward to checking it out. Nope, it's not the tent. This is just a courtyard. Right in the front, there is a life-size bronze donkey pulling a cart. As you might have guessed, it's uh, a sculpture by Francois Xavier Lalanne, Anatel Grand, pardon my pronunciation, presented by Gallery Mitterrand and it's already sold for 4 million euros. It's named the best design at large. The inaugural Design Miami Fair is held in Hotel de Maison, an 18th century mansion, also known as Hotel Pozzo de Borgo, named after a Corsican noble family which owned it. The forebear of the clan was a childhood friend of Napoleon, who later fought against him with the Russian army. If you haven't seen French film The Untouchables, I highly recommend it. It's based on a true story of Philippe Pozzo de Borgo, the paraplegic descendant owner of the house. Also, Karl Lagerfeld lived here for almost 30 years, until it was bought by the country of Gabon for President Bongo. But after a recent military coup overthrew him, the place is for sale again. And now, back to the design fair. There are 27 participating galleries, and a lot of them have to share rooms or salons and adapt to the existing interiors. But what a visual feast it is. Gilded moldings, wood boiserie, original parquet floors, damask wall coverings, chandeliers, juxtaposed with modern furniture, ceramics, design objects, and lighting. Over half of the exhibitors are from Paris, so there are lots of pieces by iconic French designers Jean Royer and Jean Prouvé. This is Gallery Jacques Lacoste, winner of the Best Historic Work Award. It's a whole set of polar bear sitting in cherry red from 1951 by Jean Royer, and it's already sold. Right next to it in the adjacent room is uh, Salon 94 design with silver leather couches called Soft Poly Silver Lining, a collection by Max Lamb. Someone is filming here too, arranged on the Calder marble. Great ceiling to show it. Next up is a gallery from New York, Friedman Bender. They're planning to open a new gallery in Paris next year. Carol Hockman will give us a scoop on their featured works. Our booth is a, a sampling of the various designers we have on our roster. Um, behind me, you'll see an Andrea Bronzi lamp, floor lamp. It's handmade paper with maple leaves and a bamboo pole. Andrea Bronzi is a very famous, was a very famous ar Italian architect designer and theoretician. He just passed away a couple of weeks ago. Um, he was part of the radical design and, and a, um, an associate of Ettore Satsis, who is also on the mantle. They're glass pieces. In the booth, we also have young talent like Samuel Ross, who's British. He's also featured in satellite projects here, presented by Miami Design District, a steel yellow bench expression service essence. We have Daniel Arsham, doing his design uh, works. Ron Arad. The chandelier is Joris Larman. He's a Dutch designer. Faye Too Good did the coffee table. It's a limited edition table made out of hand-carved oak. 
And the, the upholstery is Raphael Navot, who's Israeli working in Paris. It's exposing them to a new audience in Paris, and we're thrilled about it. Now let's head upstairs. That's where Karl Lagerfeld had his private quarters. This is Gallery Mitterrand uh, with the animals by De La Lanz. I featured it in my Tsefaf New York video, the link is below. Next salon is quite interesting. Uh, this is London-based gallery stand Sarah Myerskoff. Uh, which presents furniture by full-grown studio, the chair which took 15 years to grow by manipulating the growth of direction of live trees, won the best contemporary work prize. This is Monaco-based ceramic specialist Le Breton, the winner of the best presentation award. Beautiful both. These unique ceramic creations are presented by Hosla Burroughs, another New York gallery. Juliet Burroughs, its co-founder, will introduce the gallery and tell us about the sculptures. So we're actually founding members of Design Miami, this fair where we are today. Um, we've been doing it since 2005 and it's so excited to be at this incredible venue with this beautiful room and this natural light. Um, we show a range of vintage and contemporary design with a a heavy focus on studio ceramics, and we're thrilled uh, to be working with this Norwegian artist, Torbjörn Kvassbo, who's an incredible, um, he's sort of at the pinnacle of the contemporary ceramic scene at the moment. He's 70 and he's working with these extruded forms and making these very powerful um, sculptures that are evocative both of nature and the human humanity in a way, they, the expression of power and force and um, and nature. We love to show how one might live with this design and contemporary ceramics in a setting and this is the ideal room to show that. Lots of visitors are also enjoying the view of the garden from this room and it's spectacular. That's where they have several installations, part of design at large section. The highlight is that house in the back Let's take a closer look. Maison de Montable, presented by Galerie Patrick Seguin. It's a prefabricated house and it's fully functional. It was designed by Jean Prouvé in 1944 uh, for the needs of uh, those people who were displaced during the war. Supposedly, it can be assembled by four people in a day. And the price tag is 1.5 million euros. This is Wendell Castle sculpture, Veiled in a Dream, presented by Friedman Bender. Next to it, uh, Gallery Creole showcases Proust armchair, Poltrona di Proust, by Alessandro Mendini from 1990. This totem is by Jacob Jorgensen, presented by Hosta Burroughs. And the icing on the cake is the Melanese Café Coba, which recently opened a shop in Paris. They set up a temporary counter here and the desserts look delicious. Like this one made specifically for Design Miami. I got lucky number seven for my order. And guess what? I got my usual avocado toast. See you later. <laughs>